I want to be financially free, but you know what I want more than to be financially free? I want to be free in my mind. Mm -hmm. But none of us are going to get successful if we can't control our mind. The greatest skill, the greatest uh, weapon of a warrior is his mind. Dude, God, this is a ministry. Like God yeah. is at the forefront of everything that we do. And... Talk to me about the real business, right? Why is it that in 2024, there are so many people out there that, and maybe you can kind of fill in the blanks here, but they either don't want to build a real business, like they just want this kind of like, you, you said it, right? Uh, they want to be an influencer, but at the end of the day, they don't have anything tangible, right? And I feel like more and more and more young people, they want to do that as opposed to building something real, like what you built. Is it just because it's too hard? They don't want to, they don't want to do the hard work. Well, what I think is, I think that a lot of people, when you plug in on social media, you don't know who's real and you don't know who's not, mm. right? So there's a lot of people that are giving advice. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so with all these people that are giving advice, question is, who do you listen to? Mm. And by the way, like, here's what I want. Number one, I want to be financially free, but you know what I want more than to be financially free? I want to be free in my mind. Mm. You know what that means? That means that your mind will dictate your thoughts or are, are your greatest responsibility in life. So if anybody's taking notes, I'd write down, my thoughts are my greatest responsibility in life. Dude, your wife can't make you happy. Mm -hmm. You have to make you happy with here. And, and, and by the way, how do you do that? By having a good perception, by having a good perspective. You want to build a badass business, you want to get rich? Number one, step one, become a leader. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Self-lead. Get yourself in shape, human excellence, raise it through the roof, Write down what are your core values, what are your standards, what will you die for, and guess what? Make those a non-negotiable. Mm. You can't love anyone else if you don't love yourself. You can't be good to anyone else if you're not good to yourself. Hey, and by the, this shit about like, just be who you are. Don't just mm. be who you are. Become someone great that inspires other people to become great. Mm. Right? Like, like, that's your job while you're here. Anyways, man, as I just think about this, I think that's the deal is that like, I think all of us, all of us want to be really successful, mm -hmm. but none of us are going to get successful if we can't control our mind. The greatest skill, the greatest uh, weapon of a warrior is his mind. Mm. Okay. God gave us a heart and he gave us a mind. And by the way, like you'll tell, like, I won't be around. You got a really good heart. That's why I like being around you and your wife and your team. I I'm around people by examining their heart and they've mm. got to have good hearts. By the way, super important that we say this. God gave you a heart and he gave you a mind. You know what he gave you? He mm. gave you another day. He gave you an opportunity to change. I swear to God when I say this, mm. I, I, made, I made money in sales, you know, 500 grand, a million. I made up to two and a half million. All that money fell through my fingers. Mm. All the money, okay? Like I'm telling you, I was never who I was supposed to be until 39 years old, I woke up. So my point is, is if you're watching this and you're 18, here's what I'll tell you. You got to get it all in life. Mm. People say, no, dude, you either sacrifice for what you want or what you want becomes a sacrifice. Dude, like what's important to you? Your I, marriage, yeah. your girl's important, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Go kick ass in business and don't take care of her. You'll wake up one day and you won't have her. And guess what? If me and you were going to compete and I was doing the same thing you're doing, if I got a badass personal life, if I got a badass family at home that supports me, if I got a badass marriage and you don't, I will kick mm -hmm. your ass. And you know why? Because, dude, I got purpose. Mm -hmm. Dude, you can't beat someone with purpose. People with purpose end up getting crazy. People with purpose never stop. People with purpose are on the hunt every freaking day like a lion. Mm -hmm. People with purpose, dude, you walk in the room and you're like, oh, my God. It's like moral authority. Like that person's up to something. I can see it. That person's doing big shit. Mm -hmm. But people that work hard, that are burned out, that literally aren't taking care of all these other things in life. I run into people all the time like, why are you talking about the fitness shit? I love your business stuff, but why are you talking about the fitness? Hey, either take care of it on the front half or you're going to be taking care of it on the back half. Mm -hmm. It's up to you, dude. Right now, you got a bad doctor's report. You literally go under those lights, those bright lights, and you're not in shape. You're not taking care of yourself. You're out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, freedom and then, and then you know, your health are the two things that right now, if you found out today that you had cancer, you would give ever you'd give all this up just to have your health back. For sure. Okay. Yep. And so like, and so like we figured it out at 39, I figured it out that I wanted money. And so I would not focus on my health because I knew I needed money. I thought success was money. Success is not money. Matter of fact, they, this is funny. They print free money. Mm -hmm. I didn't take care of my health. My marriage wasn't number one to me. I wasn't the best dad in the world. By the way, I was better than most. So I'm like, babe, look at everyone else around me. We're kicking their ass. I mean, look, we're better than everyone. Mm -hmm. She's like, better than everyone is poison, Andy. Why can't you be the best? 
I freaking married a man that I thought was going to be the best. And now you're hitting me with that better than most shit. Mm -hmm. And by the way, like, it makes you think like, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see you're a boss, right? Mm -hmm. You're an owner. Yep. People tell you yes all the time. Mm -hmm. My wife don't tell me yes. And that's why her job is to grow me. Mm. Her job is to protect me from distractions. Her job, she knew I was a project when she married me, was to see out all the days of her lives that I become the man I'm supposed to be. That's, that's her job. Okay? And then my job is to become that for her so I can prove that she was right for betting on me. I always say this, man. Are you proving someone right or are you proving them wrong? I'm proving everybody fucking wrong that says I wasn't going to become nothing. But I am proving her right that betting on me was the best thing that ever happened. Mm. Also, I want to tell you a reason why we're growing so fast. I was telling you before this, our company did $160 million last year. And I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. You know how we did it? And I would, people say like, how do you do it? You want me to tell you? Yeah. Super important, guys. If you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. People are either running towards a life they want or they're running away from a life they hate. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will, if you're running towards a big life and I'm running from a life that I hate, I will outrun you every day. Yep. I, I run with the chip on my shoulder, man. I'm a broke person with money. I'm broke. Mm -hmm. I'm broken. I'm broke. I'm hurt. I'm always, I'm always, I'm always afraid we're going to lose it all today. I, I, don't e I don't even know what we have in the bank. I don't know anything about my life. I don't want to know. You know what I want to do? I want to get out there and be the greatest version I can be today until the day they bury me in the ground. Mm -hmm. Dude, if people would just get around this kind of language, this kind of shit we're talking about, yeah. and people are like, why are you so fired up? Why, Dude, because at 39, I was dead. Mm -hmm. And I've been through this story with you, but at 39, when I was dead and I decided to change my life, and by the way, listen to me, I've gotten crazier since the last time yeah. we were together. Oh yeah, for sure. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's because I figured it out. Mm. Okay. You got one life. Yeah. That's it, bro. You got one. Okay. If you want a new life, you have to completely give up your old one. Mm. Completely. Everything. You have to kill off everything. And I'm going to tell you, dude, the cool thing, because you're a real estate guy, but the cool thing about your mind is it's only so big. It is a piece of real estate. Yep. You know what you are? You're the gatekeeper to your mind. Mm. Okay. You buy this big piece of development and you're going to build all these beautiful houses back in there. You're the gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. Who are you letting in? What are you letting in? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Do listen to me. I'm telling you right now, every time someone says something, I, I can let that come in or let that stay out. Mm -hmm. This is how we've scaled so fast. God made us to be unreal. And you know what? He's using people right now, truly, that have like screwed up, that have messed up, um, because he's looking to make the biggest testimonies mm. to truly, I mean, I truly will tell you that I think that anybody watching this, a lot of people, they're not, no one's kicking you in the balls. You're kicking yourself in the balls mm -hmm. every day. You're being shitty to you. You're freaking talking yourself out of winning. You're being crappy to you. You don't love yourself. You're not taking care of you. No wonder no one else is taking care of you. Like, dude, you have to take care of yourself. You have to physically go and, and, and really be really good to you so that you can have this perspective that, oh my God, I can't believe I'm alive. Oh my God, look at all this opportunity. And by the way, if something bad does happen, be like, dude, like, like there's got to be some good in this. Mm -hmm. Dude, right now, if you got sued, you say there's got to be some good in this. Yep. hundred percent. Okay. But it's easy to say, but really doing it. And that's why like I've built this like culture, mm -hmm. this cult right? Of winners, people who do the right thing, who raise their standards, who put boundaries on their life, who literally every day, like eat, sleep and breathe winning, who are loving to people. Dude, God, this is a ministry. Like God yeah. is at the forefront of everything that we do. And people always say, well, yeah, but I see you cuss a lot. Yeah. The Pharisees, right? Mm -hmm. They were cool on the and clean on the outside, but they had the darkest hearts. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I just want to say like, I'm this like psycho competitor, which is like, if you read my shirt, yep. it's a psycho competitor. And by the way, as loving as I am on the backside of it, it says, may God have mercy on my enemies mm -hmm. because I won't. Yeah.
So bet against me.